I was in three shows that were very fan oriented. I was also on the Vampire Diaries and the originals. The cocktail of Supernatural, Vampire Diaries, originals, you know, they sort of cross pollinate. Yeah, it's crazy. Michael was an amazing character. Two amazing characters, really at different spectrums, you know, an angel, sort of decadent angel, and then a man, you know, powered by revenge, resentment, pain. For me, it was a very interesting character as well. Balthazar was easy to fit in, and it was incredibly pleasurable. Uh, Michael Michelson of the originals was also pleasurable, but actually a very difficult role to play. It required so much intensity, you know, um, Balthazar's relaxation, Michael Michelson is intensity, and it required a phenomenal amount of energy to sort of channel this rage, this perpetual rage. So both two very interesting characters to play. And actually, they were quite memorable. I'm hoping that I did my job right. I think I did, because a lot of people come up to me terrified, and I'm like, I'm not. I'm not that, that person. If you channel good writing, it can help you. It can be a sort of a massive help to your performance. So yeah, two, two really extreme characters that were really extraordinary to, to play. And the fan base, the fandom, Vampire Diaries and Originals fandom is too an extraordinary fandom. Are you ready? I was born ready. Working with Joseph Morgan was really wonderful. We really hit it off not only as people, because Joseph is really is an absolute professional. That's what I really loved from the start about Joseph. And you know, he was the lead of the originals and you really felt it. He really made sure that the show was going to be top notch. You appreciate that. He's a well-trained actor. I'm a well-trained actor, I think. There was something. I really felt that there was this incredible bond <laughs> of hatred, but it worked in as high a fashion as love. It was really interesting, you know, the line between love and hate. But working with him was a dream because, you know, he was always there and always ready, always professional, always knew his lines, you know, so we worked really well together. We would always want to make the scenes as good as they could be. But of course, we had that relationship. We were more father and son than actually his own father was, because it turns out I'm not his dad. <laughs> but in a way I am. I made him into the monster that he was. We now have legacies. Like, is that yes. something that's on your radar at all? I don't know. I don't know. That'll be up to Julie. I mean, it would be fun for Michael, of course, to show up and go, hello, <laughs> to show up and, and wreak havoc. But I, I really don't know.